Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. Um, so I have no idea what I want to talk about this time. I'm literally filming this a couple of days after filming the last one and the reason I'm doing that is my days off next off next week two of them because like you know, i do a four day week so i get three days off two of them are tagged on to the end of my week off and the other one i'm going to need to well there's no reason i can't like do everything on saturday um but because the first two days off are basically monday tuesday so I've now sort of made plans for Monday and I might potentially have plans for Tuesday as well because um, my brother and his family are still down at the moment. Um, I was like, well, if I do it today when I know I'm not doing anything, then at least I know it's done and I don't have to worry about it and it'll be all good and all happy. And yeah, so I've, I've also edited the first of the vlogs in this position <laughs> today as well. Um, so I noticed the sound isn't the worst. Um, I may need to do something about the setup a little bit in order to make it so there's less additional noise in the background, but that might all just be down to what my laptop happens to be doing at the time. Um, there was one little patch where the sound just like cut out completely. Um, but other than that, it was more, I think, recording a sound from from the laptop which sometimes happens even though it's really close anyway so um wasn't the worst may need to look into potentially investing in in a mic to improve sound a little bit but it's acceptable enough given the fact that these aren't really done particularly high quality anyway um just because i'm i'm working pretty much on what i've got access to and i don't have access to a lot of you know um high quality stuff so yeah um yeah <laughs> that's an interesting way of starting this stuff um so i'm still looking for gerald's um unfortunately the pets at home don't currently, or my local pets at home don't currently have any. Um, and they're not the most common thing in Devon, like different parts of the country. Yeah, loads, fine. Um, in Devon, you don't really get a lot of private sellers. Um, so I'm basically at this point in time working for staff, uh, looking up staff. Um, basically keeping an ear out constantly, or not, I say keeping an ear out, um, looking in all the free ads, uh, looking at um, Pets for Homes, um, which doesn't let you set up alerts, but I do have an account with now, um, for messaging uh, sellers. Um, yeah, and then like, booking Pets at Home until they have germs. <laughs> um, I know from, speaking to somebody yesterday, which is when I, I last called them, uh, that they get pet deliveries like once every two weeks-ish at the moment. Um, I imagine, but I don't know which day they get them in, um, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm going to try phoning on Friday. I might pop over like Tuesday morning just in case. It's like, I'm like, they definitely, either last Monday was the last time they got some in, in which case it'll be next Monday, um, or last, like the Friday before, and I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm trying to, because I know they definitely had some in last week, because the person I spoke to yesterday was like, oh yeah, we, we sold um, all the ones we had on the shop floor during the week, they all went during the week, which means they must have had a delivery fairly recently. Um, and like before Monday, <laughs> before last Monday, but before, yeah, so I'm, I'm filming this on the Sunday. So they, they must have had the delivery either the Monday, in which case it'll be not tomorrow, but the Monday after, um, or the Friday, in which case 
if I sign up on Friday, they, they may or may not have something. Um, I wish I wish I'd asked for like more details than than, than that. Um, I'm I, I'm I'm ready. <laughs> like next time I'll be like, oh, when when do you next get your pets? Um, in so that I'm not phoning up randomly and I can do this in a little bit more organized way. Um, they are still my kind of my best bet. Um, I know they didn't have any gel in on their last delivery, um, so there's a chance they may not have any in on their next one. It may be may well be that the thing that stops them from getting gerbils anytime soon is a lack of gerbils. <laughs> a lack of gerbils near them. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm not you know if it takes me a while it takes me a while. Um, I think I'm mentally and emotionally in a lot better better a place with it all. Now, um, I did have definitely had a few days this week where I was very hyper-focused on everything that I was doing with it and trying to get my cage slash play area area a appropriate or more appropriate um, for, for new gerbils, um, doing like lots of research, doing lots of looking into things, panicking over stuff. <laughs> and, and I always, I'm one of those people the more I care about something, um, the more hyper-focused I get on something, um, the more sort of stressed I get about um, something, the more I kind of know it is actually what I want. But at the same time, it will make me doubt how much I want it. Because um, I'm like, I'm getting myself so stressed and so worked up. I'm not sure this is what I want. I will get like fear feelings in the pit of my stomach. Um, I'll be like, what am I doing? This is madness. This is never going to work. Why am I putting myself through this? Um, and then I will get through like the very manic bit of it and I will get the chance to relax and I'll get that chance to sort of take a step back again. And I'll be like, no, you know what? This is absolutely what I want. Um, the whole reason I'm getting so hyper-focused on it is because I do care so much about it. Um, I mean, I felt the same. I, f I felt the same every single time that I've moved um, because I find that whole process sort of very stressful. Um, but once I sort of get to a point where everything kind of looks like you know it, it's just a smooth way forward, and I'm just waiting on that one last little bit um, in order for like the move to happen, um, I, I then tend to relax and I'm fine and I, I stop stressing and I actually realise no, this you know apart from like. Apart from one time, um, one or two times, um, where the moving out hasn't necessarily been for the best reasons. Um, most of the reasons that I've moved have been for positive reasons and it has actually been what I've wanted. But like because I get so stressed about it, um, it makes me doubt how much I want it. And um, that's kind of how I know that I really want something, <laughs> which sounds really bizarre and kind of counter. Um, but like the more like hyper focus I get on something, the more um, worked up I get about something when I'm trying to figure out how to make something work, the more I actually want it. And then once I kind of figure out how I can make it work and actually that it will work and it will be really good when it does work, um, then I start to relax a whole lot more and I stop stressing and I actually start enjoying and looking forward to whatever it is happening and I'm now in that phase um which is really nice because a few nights ago I was like literally keeping myself up because <laughs> I was so stressed out about it but I'm now in that kind of okay I, it's gonna take me a little while to actually find the gerbils um when I'm ready for them and I know the setup that I have is going to be brilliant and it is going to work and it's not going to be a complete headache and actually I'm, I'm feeling really good and really positive about all, this, all the steps I've taken and um, everything else to try and get things set up really nicely and I'm in a much 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 better place with it now than um, I was a few days ago when I was getting really hyper focused and really worked up and asking myself if, I, if it was what I really wanted. Um, 
and asking myself if you know maybe I should give, just give up and then look in different directions and stuff like that but the fact that I kept sort of going no 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 I need to figure out how to make this work I've got to make this work um let me know that no this is actually what I want um and I am making the right choice for this um and again I know it sounds like a really weird mentality to have about things but that's just kind of what I'm like um I do have a, like, a, I do doubt myself, and the more passionate I am about something, the more likely I am to doubt myself about that thing, the more likely I am to um, wonder if I, you know, if, if I'm getting it right, and, and to stress, and, and to, um, to hyper-focus um, on things, but then once I sort of, like, get to a point of, no, actually, I, I figured out all these small details, um, I know what might go wrong, I know what might, you know, I, I've now, you know, um, done all the things that I need to do in order to feel ready for all this, um, and I just need that one last little thing to happen and it'll be fine. Um, then I, I'm in a much, I, I get through to that much better place with it and I'm like, oh, I, yeah, it, it is right, I, you know, that, that stress is just because I care so much about this thing, um, and it's not a, no, exact yeah, place. it, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how better to phrase it than that, um, me getting really stressed about making sure I get something right is usually a good sign that it is what I really want, um, so I've gone through that phase with it now, I know everything is, is set up, um, so the only real stress is actually my new, my new little fair babies, um, I've decided I'm definitely going to go for two. I did debate whether I wanted two or three this time, um, but I've decided mostly because gerbils are so difficult to find down this way anyway, so I'm more likely to find it. It's, it's going to be easier to be looking for a pair than it is to be looking for a, a trio, and because, because a lot of the research is so debating what is enough space for gerbils, um, I'm kind of like, you know what, I know that I've got more than enough space for two, why not stick with the two, two is a perfectly good number of gerbils, two is what I had before, and actually um, now that there is a little bit more of a distance between um, the death of the new and where I am now emotionally with it all, um, I think part of the reason I was thinking, oh, I want three this time, is just because three would make it feel com like a completely different experience, um, to the experience that I had with, with New and Sullivan. Um, but I've now done so much stuff to the play area and to the cage and to the setup that I, that I have, that it's going to be a com completely different experience anyway. Um, and because of that, I'm much more relaxed about the idea of just getting two Whereas previously, part of the reason I wanted the three was more to do with trying to make it a different experience so that I'm not um, conflating my emotions with, with New and Celebi, with um, the new gerbils. Um, and that is something that, that's very important to me. I want to respect these, these new gerbils as being their own individual little characters. Um, and not be constantly back comparing them to me and Celebi. Me and Celebi were my wonderful little snow babies. They gave me so much joy. They were total little characters. Um, me loved the attention from me. She was definitely a little attention seeker. Every time she escaped, it was always to get my attention. Um, if she escaped whilst I was in the room, she wanted me to chase her, <laughs> and I knew that. Because um, I mean, literally, she would. She wasn't even escaping. She was just falling out because I wasn't paying enough attention to her. She wasn't trying to get out. She wasn't trying to, you know, leave the area. She was perfectly happy in the area. She would, she just literally fell out because I didn't get to her or I didn't give her enough attention in time. Um, so yeah, it was literally for that. That she was looking for me um, and, and sort of fell out when I wasn't in the room. She'd come into the room that I was in. <laughs> she wouldn't, like, if I was there, she would ignore, like, th this area here. Um, and she would just, like, 
um, stay sort of near the near uh, where the cage was, um, and near where the couch was, and near where I was. Um, but if she couldn't see me, then she'd come find me. So she wasn't doing it because she wanted to escape. She was doing it for my attention. Um, which you know, it's it, that's kind of a nice sort of way of, of looking back, and and that's very much what her personality was like. She was very, very much you know, um, the one who who liked my attention, the one who was very friendly, the one who was um, very much you know, my my little my little my little girl. Um, I said that we never never once looked to escape. Um, she fell off the couch occasionally. <laughs> if she and you were both on the couch, she occasionally fell off the couch. But nine times out of ten, that was me. <laughs> that was you and not her. <laughs> because nine times out of ten, Selby wasn't bothered enough about coming out um, and joining us on the couch anyway. Obviously, I gave her attention. Um, I petted her. Um, I did, you know, I picked her up every few days just so that she would remain used to being handled because obviously that's very important when you're dealing with small animals um, when you need um, when they might need certain care or you know I might need to transfer them from one place to another whilst so I'm cleaning out and stuff like that so it was important that she was handled um, but in general I didn't fuss her too much I mostly just like you know petted her and let her sniff me and you know let her sort of interact with me in the way that she was most comfortable with um, purely because you know I, I knew she wasn't as fussed about being handled as me was whereas me just loved it um, me would literally like she'd crawl onto my hand she'd crawl up my arm um, so yeah I, I they, they were a wonderful little pair of gels um, that I had and you know, for for a first experience with gerbils, they you know they, they were great. I put in time for them to be accustomed to me, to get to know me, and that reflected. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to to doing that all again and getting to know a couple of new, um, you know, fur babies. They might both be really super friendly um, and both really like the attention. They might be one likes the attention more than the other. They might both not be particularly fussed. Um, but as long as I'm sort of, you know, interacting with them regularly, as long as I'm like handling them regularly, we're still going to have a really good relationship. Um, it's just going to be a different sort of relationship to the one that I had with, with Mew and Celebi because they're going to be different little personalities to, to what Mew and Celebi was. Um, and it, it's, it's going to be, you know, a process of us getting to know each other. And, you know, like, like I said, um, Part of the reason I, I initially thought I might like to have three was to give me a completely different experience, forgetting that I'm going to have a completely different experience anyway. And I think doing all the stuff that I've done with this, the, the setup has helped remind me that it's just going to be a different experience. It's helped me create an environment where it's going to be a different experience because I'm thinking about things differently. I've, I've learned, I've done more research, I've um, created a way of things to be done that would, was different to how things were done um, with, with me and Sally. Um, so I'm already going through a completely different process with it and, and going through a completely different thought pattern with it, um, which will hopefully mean when I do eventually meet my new little fur babies, I will be completely in the right mindset for it. So in some ways the delay will like disappointing um, is probably the best thing for me. So although, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep persistently looking for my gerbils because I would rather have them sooner than later. Um, having like this time to sort of like think, think things through and to have a completely different pre-experience with it as well um, is definitely the most useful thing for me right now um so i'm i'm at the point now where i i can feel excited and i can like just 
yeah, um, so I'm, I'm in a really good place um, with it all right now, and I apologise. <laughs> that is kind of probably going to feel like I've been talking about gerbils twice in a row, um, although I did talk about more things in the last one, so hopefully it won't feel like I'm talking about gerbils twice in a row. Um, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted um, as to how long it will take me to get the new gerbils. This one will come out before. The other one, so there will definitely be a delay in regards to how uh, long it takes me to find the new gerbils. Um, fingers crossed for me that it will be sooner rather than later. <laughs> but it, if it takes a while, it, it takes a while. It, that's you know that's just the way that it's going to go. I would you know rather wait because I don't well. I'm not going to have a choice. <laughs> I'm not going to have a choice. I wouldn't rather wait. I would rather be in a position where it's much easier for me to find gerbils down in Devon. But since I do not have that position, um, I'm going to accept the fact that I will have to wait, and um, or I may have to wait, and I'm going to, in the meantime, get myself, you know, maybe pick up a few new treats and toys and, and stuff. Um, so that there's, there's more, I mean, I, I managed to pick up one new thing, um, I did go out looking for stuff yesterday, but like all the stuff I found was like, too ex not, not too expensive necessarily, but there wasn't enough of a variety and enough of a choice, um, I've been looking on Amazon for various things as well, so I might pick up things from Amazon, so it might well be that from now until I get them, I'll pick up like one or two, one or two new things a week for the, the new gerbils so that when they come when they arrive there's like lots of exciting things for them because making sure that they're not bald will help <laughs> will help massively um but yeah that's kind of where i'm at with everything right now um this is definitely feeling like a very different experience um and i'm kind of embracing the fact that it's a very different experience because that will help me when I get the new gerbils to bond with them in the way that they need to be bonded with rather than trying to force them to be the my two previous gerbils which is not what I want um and which is not what would be best for them or for me so yeah okay I hope you found this one sort of interesting I hope you've got your fingers crossed for me and I will see if you've you enjoyed this video feel free yeah. to check out some of my <laughs> others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe See ya!